Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nobody said a game like this would be easy. In fact, the players on both teams came to their schools because of games like this and games that they know will be hard. That's when it brings out the best, and we've got two of the best ready to tee it up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. State Capitol from 1826 to 1845 serves as the site for today's game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And there's the opening kick of the season. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 33. The Bulldogs have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Cody comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Just throws this one away, and that will make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They're coming after this punter. Heading for the corner. Hendricks takes it to 28. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Let's go! Hands it to the back. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Up the middle for a nice game. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. From the 45-yard line, first down. Throws complete, he stopped immediately. That'll make it second and four. Here's the halfback. And he hits him hard at the 30. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From 
the 30 yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. to the tight end, and he's got it. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium-range situations. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. Second and three. We're at play number nine of this current drive. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Tight end, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 56 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Williams has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 40. Alabama's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 43-yard line. Just throws this one away. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Got it, and brought down immediately. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Alabama up seven points. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That makes it second and six. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. He's scared. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle. 55. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0. Crimson Tide. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he 
throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They need to get it inside the 46. Going deep. Got a man. Watch out here. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a five-play, 67-yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Steps out of bounds around the 26-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He's going to air it long. And he hauls that one in. And he's taken down at the nine. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Mike Sick, 33. 33. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. You know, this corner has physical abilities that you're going to see at the next level. He can cover wide receivers. He can be physical against the run. But here he also shows an ability to pressure the quarterback off the blitz. That's a great play by him. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 13-yard line. rid of this one even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers the crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game and he is drilled at the 20. Brad not only did they give up a sack here but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard if I'm an offensive coordinator especially an offensive line coach I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and the field goal is good. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Johnson fields at the goal line. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 27. That'll make it second and seven. Second. 
Second down and seven. Ball on the 27. Nice run up the middle. receiver in a hurry. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First and ten. Ball on the 43. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That that makes it Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. The same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. That brings us From the 10 yard line. Second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle around the four yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Tight end, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Cowboys come into today's game ranked 16th in the nation. And for Oklahoma State, they're on the board first. And for Roberts, he's fired a touchdown strike. Oklahoma State leads it 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Caught, open field. They'll bring him down at the 46. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. 
and they make the stop around the 47 yard line and they get stopped after a short game yeah the quarterback better get these guys to the line of scrimmage and hurry up Defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it, and he's tackled in the open field. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. Alabama will take their final timeout. Owen to punt. And he just got stood up right there. Alabama's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Harvey. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. And he's tackled at the 35. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Once and all, going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. We've played a half. The Crimson Tide in front, 21-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you gotta find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean. Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with the quarterback play, I'm sure. I've always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Johnson from the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Gets out to around the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. it out to about the 46. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. He 
He makes his way out to about the 35. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, first down. They bring him down in the backfield. just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Kicks up, and he got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Cowboys come into this one ranked number 16 in the land. This one's been entertaining us all day long. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. The Cowboys are on top, 10-3. It's 24-3 in this one. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. He's out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. It's a fumble. It's recovered. And he's stopped behind the line. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Gets it. He's in space. And he tackles him hard at midfield. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he's taken down right around midfield. No game. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. Two down, three down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Two and eight. Two and eight. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah
That's a great tackle. The 37-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. Makes it to the 17. So at the end of the third quarter, Alabama leads it 24-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike 55, Mike 55. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 55-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Cody fields it at the two. He's taken down at the 30. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Got it out to his tight end. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, it's third down. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 47. Alabama's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And they hit him in the backfield. 
from three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 50. Alabama comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Got an opening. He's at the 40. Tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. So first and goal after that huge run. Two down, two down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Cut, two, yes. Alert, alert, alert. Cut, cut, cut. Brought down. After a nice run up the middle. From the four yard line, second down. about four yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. From the one yard line, third down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Today's game ranked 13th in the country, knowing they had to have an impressive win to move into the top 10. Here's a hotly contested battle. Oklahoma has the edge, 3-0. Reese here, it's 38-3. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's taken down at the 28. The Bulldogs thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. Second, Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. Third down. Going right to his tailback. 
He's pushed out of bounds around the 39 yard line. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. Go! Check, check! Disco Raver! Disco Raver! Makes the catch and look out. A five yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Second down and five. Ball on the 44-yard line. Georgia staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.